is over, says the Italian referee Clara Munorini. So France get their bonus point. They won their opening game. Very comfortably against Italy, 41-15. That defeat by Ireland by one point in Axon Provence. And then a bonus point win against Scotland. Jefferson Joseph sent off the French fans celebrating wildly, enjoying their little trip to Edinburgh, kissing the brew, whichever one it is. Choice is yours. Have a great night, guys and gals. In the Athens of the North, as they call Edinburgh. Wonderful place to party. Well, it was all about Scottish resilience, really, in the end. They got a try towards the final whistle. But the final score here, the Dam Health Stadium in Edinburgh, is Scotland 17, France 30. Just wonder, will the senior side be doing something similar at the end of 80 minutes tomorrow in front of 67,000 at Murrayfield? They've lost their last two games, the senior side to Scotland at Murrayfield and also at the Stade de France. But they've certainly got the weekend off to a good start here this weekend, the under-20s for their nation. Tremendous performance by Theo Intermac, the player of the match, as selected by Johnny Beanie. It was all about back row forward play. France, who will defend their Junior World Cup title next year, having won it back to back in 2018 2019. Due to COVID, there has been no championships in the interim years, but it will all resume next time around. 2023, by the way, is also the 200th anniversary of the year when William Webb Ellis first picked up the ball and played with it, thus inventing the game of rugby. Johnny Beanie will be doing our touchline interviews. Let's hear from him.